type area, the, um, 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 I can't think of the word. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you've never seen my face before, I am the Miss Nicole Marie. Today, we are doing another Old Navy haul. Now, I know what you're thinking if you are a subscriber and you watch my videos, um, I just did one probably a month ago for Old Navy, but they just, I don't know what's going on with them, but they have so many sales and they have such good items that I just can't resist. So every time I go, naturally I take a whole bunch of stuff with me to the fitting room and it's just kind of a waste if I don't do a haul. So for you guys. I am just giving you the Old Navy hauls. So I hope you guys really enjoy um, these Old Navy hauls because I really do. But if you don't, you can always skip them. So sorry if you don't. But if you do enjoy my videos, please subscribe down below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy. Like, if you do enjoy the video and you do like it, please give it a thumbs up. And let's get straight on into this Old Navy haul. All right, first up, I was on the hunt again for um, some button ups, kind of like a loungy moment. And they definitely, they served. They had quite a few on sale. So let me show you what they look like on. I wore two just for reference. So we'll go back to back with these ones. Here's the first one. It is a simple black just like linen material and I obviously as you saw from my other video I have bought one in white I've got an off-white color as well but I really need black I have been like missing it for my wardrobe so this one is oversized wearing in a large so I did size up one but it's definitely have a little bit oversized um, by itself and this one is just perfect I really love everything about it. Um, we'll go straight on into the next one, which is blue. So here's the next one. Obviously, I picked it up in the blue color. This was in the same rack, but this one was a slightly different material. It was more of a like a dress shirt material, I would say, where the other one was more casual, more linen. And you can see the fits are slightly different, but there was like literally right next to each other on the rack, which was kind of odd, but whatever. I also wore this one in a large, so it had the same oversized fitted look, but just be aware, I guess, that they could be different materials even though they're sitting right next to each other. These were both originally priced at $36.99 and they were both on sale for right around $20. So not too bad, honestly. Target had them for $25, original price, no sale. So it's pretty good sale price, not gonna lie. I should, I kind of want to go back and get the black one. I didn't because I was trying to be good and save some money, but I definitely need and want a black button up, so I might end up going back and getting it. But overall, these are really good quality. If you're looking for the linen option, looking for your dress option, they have both in the oversized look. So definitely give it a go if that's what you're looking for, but be aware that they might be different materials. So if you're buying online, just try to read the description, I would say, pretty closely. Next up, I hopped on over to the workout type area, the um, 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 I can't think of the word. I don't know, the workout clothes. I can't think, active wear. Active wear, that's what I'm trying to find. Okay, these are active wear items. So I hopped on over to that section and they have skorts, they have little tennis dresses, they have really cute items. So I thought I'd pick up a few for you. This first one is gonna be a tennis dress. So this is what it looks like on. Here's the tennis dress. And this is a gorgeous lavender color. It does have a shelf bra attached to it, which is pretty supportive. I am wearing it in my true size medium, so it fits pretty good in the chest. It's a little tight, obviously, for me, but it has this entire, like, 
like suit underneath of it. So it's not like obviously you could see that the pants are completely built in. They're not separate so you have to literally take off the entire dress if you have to go to the bathroom. So that's the one thing I would say I don't really care for on this one. It does have pockets in the shorts which is great. You know I love my pockets but I would prefer almost just like the shorts be like separate than the dress. I would love it to be sold together obviously to have matching colors and stuff like that but I don't really like how it's completely built in to the dress itself and you literally have to take everything off to go to the bathroom. That's just like a pet peeve of mine. That's why I don't do rompers. Like I just I don't want to do with that. So like I said it's in my true size medium. Originally $59.99 so kind of expensive. Um, for me in my books as I call that kind of expensive uh, for an activewear dress but it was on sale for about $29 so a little bit better on sale comes in multiple different colors as well so you can check them out online if that's what you're looking for um, again I passed on it just because I don't like that the shorts are completely built in so I mentioned in the active wear section they also have skirts, so I had to try on a skirt because I've been kind of living for the skirt moment recently I really like how they're coming back into style so this one's a nice pleated skirt and I paired it just with a sports bra that was on sale as well. So here's the outfit. I just went with straight all black but they do have the skirts in a couple different colors. This one obviously it's pleated, has a little bit of a high low so it kind of goes lower in the back. A very stretchy athletic wear material. This obviously has pockets. Can't go wrong with a skirt that has pockets because we love that. Um, the sports bra on the other hand, I'm wearing it in a large and it's still like just not fitting very right. So that's definitely something I have an issue with just Old Navy having um, mostly like small, medium, large sports bras. It just really doesn't work out for larger chested women who have like a smaller band size. Um, I'm usually like a 34 triple D so... I have to go with something a little bit larger, but also like it needs to fit my band, you know, around my rib cage as well. So that's just a personal issue I have. I can't really wear anything small, medium, large when it comes to my bra size. So that was a big no, but this score on the other hand is a big yes. It is really cute, really good material, good quality. I really liked it. For reference, the sports bra that I tried on was only $16.99 originally priced and it was on sale for about $10, so really cheap. If you can get away with the small, medium, larges in sports bras, then definitely recommend because that is a really good price for a sports bra. Um, the skirt, on the other hand, I'm wearing it in my true size of medium and that fit perfectly. Originally $36.99, a little expensive but it was on sale for only $17.99, which is a much better price in my opinion. So get the score when it's on sale. All right, and this is the portion of the video where I went to the dress section. I didn't go too crazy with the dresses, but I did try a couple on and here's the first dress. This one's a little burnt orange moment. As you know from my last video, I did a lot of dresses. This one I didn't see before, so I thought I'd give it a go. Right underneath the chest, they have like that suctioned area where it kind of just hugs, which is something I really like. I like the way that it looks on my chest personally. This is meant to go over the shoulder, um, but I wanted to try it on over, like on the shoulder because I kind of was looking for something for work, a maxi dress for work. But I think it definitely looks better off the shoulder than it did on the shoulder. Um, it was a little tight in the armpits as well, so I was wearing it in my true size medium and it still just for some reason felt really tight in that area. So I didn't really love that. And again, it looks better off the shoulder, so I would say probably not great for work. So I passed on this one unfortunately, but it was still decent quality and probably better just if you're doing like a nice summer summer dresses, this would definitely be a really good idea. 
Like I said, I wore it my true size of medium. The original price was actually $49.99, so a little expensive for me. Um, I, I don't think it was really worth that price, but on sale, it's only $30, so a little bit better. Still, I wasn't feeling it for me because I was looking for something for work personally, so I passed, but still overall not a bad dress. So we have come to the classic Old Navy dress. I believe I actually did try this on in my last dress video that was only a month ago, but I think I wore it in my true size of medium then and I want to try it if I like size down to a small because it's kind of an oversized flowy dress. Um, and let me just show you how that turned out. This is the classic Old Navy dress. I feel like they sell this every single year. Um, it's just over, like, oversized, pretty much. It's definitely not, like, a tight-fitting dress, as you can see. It does have pockets, which I really like. I think it's a nice, casual dress that you can wear out, you can wear to work. Overall, it would be really cute, but I just really don't like the way it lays on my chest. Like, it just, it doesn't give anything because I do have such a large chest. It just kind of sits there and I just feel like it makes me look bigger than I actually am in like the hip area and stuff like that. So I, I try to love this dress, but it just never works out every single time. So unfortunately, I just think it's a no for me. I obviously sized down and that didn't help either. So um, this dress is also originally $36.99, I believe, um, but it was on sale for $32, um, which is not that huge of a sale, honestly. And they definitely do have better sales. Like they had a dress sale on my previous video, which I think they were only like 15 or 20 bucks. So you can definitely wait for one of those sales if you're wanting wanting to get this dress, um, definitely hold out for the lower sale price. Next up, I'm just going to give you a little spoiler alert, but this is one of my favorite items of the entire haul. So this, it's a polo shirt and it's just so simple, but it's so good. Let me show you what it looks like. Here is the polo shirt on. And as you can tell, it's got like this little ribbed material. It's very small print though, so it's not in your face. It has kind of a scalloped bottom. And I don't even know, it just looks like it hugs so well. The shorts I was showing you there is the wow shorts and those are high waisted, but those are like also my favorite shorts in this entire world. They're so cute, so comfortable, they are already pre-rolled at the bottom sewn like that way it's so cute it's like the perfect cut length on me i don't like my butt cheeks hanging out so this one fits perfectly so good so perfect the top does fit the chest really well it kind of like i feel like it almost cinches you in at the waist as well like the way it's cropped the way it's scalloped at the bottom everything about it was just so perfect I literally got this shirt in every color that I could. Um, I'm wearing my true size of medium. No need to size up or down if it's perfectly the way it was. This polo is originally only $20, which is pretty cheap in itself, but it was on sale for $15. And I just checked today, they have another sale going on. This shirt is now $10 that I saw online. So, so good. Honestly, I kind of want to get the other colors that they were missing in my size as well because I love this shirt. You've probably already seen me wear it in previous videos, but I absolutely love it. It's so cute. And the shorts also, I had already originally bought those in a different color. I wore them, I tried them on since they were only $15 on sale again. So I tried them on in all the other different colors and again, got them in another color as well. So the shorts, huge yes. They're the wow shorts, high-waisted, really good, highly recommend. This polo shirt, highly recommend as well, obviously. And the shorts, um, I think originally are about $30, uh, but they were on sale for 15 when I got them. So such a steal. Both of these, so, so, so good. 
All right, next up, I tried on another shirt. Um, this one's a little bit more of a formally shirt, but it's still casual in itself, which is like a good combo. So let me show you how it looks. Here is the shirt that I'm talking about. It has these extra puffed sleeves, but the middle portion of the top is a soft cotton material, like a normal shirt. The puff sleeves have its own structure, but it doesn't like suck in at the arms or anything. It's just very comfortable and it doesn't, you know, kill your arms. Um, again, I wore the WOW pants in a different color. These ones, for some reason, the dark wash jeans feel like a different material entirely from some of the other ones. It was definitely a much harder denim, which I personally did not like. So I like the WOW high-waisted in the lighter colors. I would say that's definitely more of a softer denim material, which I personally like a lot better. So I did pass on the shorts, but the top... The top was a winner in my book because I could definitely wear it just out casually and I could also see myself wearing this to work. So it was dual purpose. I really liked that. The shirt, I'm wearing it in my true size of medium, fit absolutely perfectly. Originally $30, but I was able to pick it up on sale for only $20. All right, I promise this is the last item I'm going to show you. I know this is running a little long, but um, this one is just like a nice casual loungy short moment. They have quite a few different options in this one, and this one was only $15 on sale, so I thought I might as well try it on and see if I like it. Here are the shorts. They are like elastic waistband material, so they're super comfy. They have pockets in the back. I don't know if they have pockets in the front. Oh yes, they do, obviously. I had to check that out. But there's no zipper, no nothing. Um, the pockets in the back are a little bit different. They're kind of, you know, that stitched material. And I did size down in this one for a size small. And I feel like they fit pretty good. They have a little bit more of a fitted look, which I was hoping that I could succeed with a smaller size. Obviously it's elastic waistband, so I could get away with wearing a small. The original price on these are again $30, which is a little pricey I would think for these shorts, but they were on sale for $15, which is obviously so much better. And overall they're okay. I just, um, you know, I spent a little too much, so this wasn't really high on my priority list. And uh, I definitely skipped out on these ones at the end, but Still good quality overall. If this is what you're looking for, definitely go check out Old Navy. They have so many different options um, in this loungewear type of shorts as well. Thank you for sticking with me for this Old Navy haul. I know I love Old Navy a little too much right now, but I hope you guys have really enjoyed. Please subscribe down below for more content. Also, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you like this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!